Fifth grade, getting ready for sixth grade. Great. Lesson 20, analyze histograms. So basically today is just like yesterday, except for they already give us the histogram and you are going over what the chart says and trying to answer some questions. So unlock the problem. The histogram shows the number of items sold at a garage sale within each price range. So they have, of course, one to five dollars, six to ten dollars, and so on. How many of the items sold cost six to ten dollars? Find the interval labeled six to ten dollars. So that would be right here. The find the frequency. Find the frequency. The bar for six to ten dollars shows that eight, items, eight were items were sold. So eight. eight of the items sold cost six to ten dollars. How many of the items sold cost sixteen to twenty five dollars? So now we're going to look 16 to 25, but is that only one um, bar or two? Two. Two. So we found 16 to 20 and 21 to 25. So the bar for 16 to 20 shows how many items were sold. Seven items, Seven items were sold. The bar for $21 to $25 shows that... Seven. Two items were sold. So seven plus two equals nine. So nine of the items sold cost $16 to $25. Sharon showed for one through three use the histogram at the right. The histogram shows the number of days in one month whose temperatures were within each temperature range. On how many days was the temperature at or above 70 degrees? List the bars that represent temperatures at or above 70 degrees. So what would be our intervals that list that? 70 to 74 and 75 to 79. Okay. So the frequency interval for 70 to 74 is how many days? 10. 10. And the frequency for the interval 75 to 79 was? 3. 3. Add the frequencies. So 10 plus 3 equals 13. 13. The daily high temperature was at or above 70 degrees on 13 days. 13 days. On how many days was the temperature 65 to 69? 7 days. On how many days was the temperature less than 65 degrees? 10. Because you have 6 for one bar and 4 for another, correct? So you'd add 6 plus 4 and get 10. 10 days. So with your partners, you guys are going to do on your own 4 through 5 and use the frequency chart at the right. Problem solving for 6 through 7, use the histogram at the right. Number 6, how many people voted in the election? So, basically down here is the ages, and then this is the number of voters. So what would we have to do to find number six, the whole entire thing? Add all of the numbers that are graphed together. So add all of the bars together, right? Okay, so for 21 to 30, what is that? 30. 30. 30. For 31 to 40, what's that? 45. 45. 41 to 50. 65, 51 to 60, 60. 61 to 70, 65, and then 71 to 80, 40, 40. Okay, can we like group a couple of these together to get, um, to get more even numbers? So I could do, say, 30 and 50, what would that be? 80. 80, and then 80 plus 40 would be? 120. So I would do 30 plus 40 plus 50 gives me 120, right? Plus, what's 45 plus 55? Uh, 100. So equals 220 plus 65 is what we have left equals what? 285. So 
So 285 people. Number seven, how many more voters were there from ages 45, 41 to 50 than from ages 21 to 30? So how many were 41 to 50? 65. So we have 65. Oh, did I forget to do my information? Yes. So people voted in the election and then many more voters, 45 to 50. 41 to 50, then from ages 21 to 30. So you said 65, and how many people voted 20, ages 21 to 30? 30. So 65 minus 30 equals 35 people. So like I said, for today's lesson, basically they already have the histogram set up for you, and you guys are using them to help you find answers. So you're taking your information from it. You don't have to set up the histogram today. You just have to use it to help you figure out some information. Okay?